Open the logo in Illustrator. This is the logo I created for a piece of software that my husband wrote. Um, it's helpful to check and make sure none of your layers are locked. You can do this by swiveling open the layers and checking for locks. It's, a good, it's good to get in the habit of checking the contents of your layers. Um, oftentimes you can solve problems just by looking to see what's going on. If you need to unlock some things, you can do that by clicking on the locks or by using Object Unlock. Uh, the hotkey is Command Option 2 on a Mac or Control Alt 2 on a PC. Now we need to select all the elements of the logo. I recommend the hotkey Command A on a Mac or Control A on a PC, but you can also find this in the menu by clicking on Select, Select All. From the Edit menu, choose Edit, Edit Colors, Recolor Artwork. This will bring up a dialog box that will make quick work of creating a one color logo that we can recolor white. In the box, locate the drop down box called Colors, uh, by default, this is set to Auto. In the box, select One. This will convert your logo to a single color piece. Notice the color bar now has all of your original colors in it. I also like to drag the black swatch into this bar to ensure I don't have any pesky outlines that I'll need to fix later. Our next step is to set the saturation slider to zero and the brightness slider to 100. When you click OK, you'll now have a white logo. Now let's make a new layer with the New Layer button at the bottom of the Layers panel. With the Rectangle tool, make a rectangle that's larger than your logo. Color this rectangle black. Drag the layer with the rectangle beneath the layer with your logo. Voila! Now you've created a reverse logo in Illustrator.